Briefing. Aurora Cyber Attack Power Grid. Aurora events can have an impact on electricity customers both directly and indirectly. The indirect impact is Aurora damaging generators, which can result in loss of load and a potential grid collapse. The direct impact is the out-of-sync reconnecting of three-phase rotating equipment. This means that customer loads in manufacturing facilities, pipelines, refineries, electrified mass transit, and even data centers and power plants are directly at risk from Aurora. An Aurora attack is a type of cyber attack that targets industrial control systems, ICS, and supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA, systems used by electric utilities. The attack is named after the demonstration of the vulnerability, which was conducted at the Idaho National Laboratory, INL, in 2007 and broadcasted by CNN. The demonstration showed that the threat associated with rapidly disconnecting and reconnecting a generator to the grid, but out of phase, via physical or cyber intrusion of control systems conducted maliciously or unintentionally, could have serious effects on system operation. Jim McKenney, an industry analyst, says that an Aurora attack can damage or destroy large equipment and result in a significant risk to the utilities that serve these customers. The impact on end users can be extremely large. Connecting AC equipment out of phase is a known vulnerability, but doing it maliciously was brought to light by the test conducted by INL. An Aurora event can affect electricity customers directly and indirectly. The indirect impact is Aurora damaging generators, which can result in loss of load and a potential grid collapse. The direct impact consists of the out-of-sync reconnecting of three-phase rotating equipment. Three-phase equipment includes not only generators but also synchronous induction motors. This means that customer loads in manufacturing facilities, pipelines, refineries, electrified mass transit, and even data centers and power plants are directly at risk from Aurora. Many control systems were originally designed before communication networking was commonplace, and therefore cybersecurity was not a concern. However, digital communication networking has now become an important cost-saving tool for remote monitoring and control of critical systems, and this opens up opportunities for industrial control systems to be exploited and turned into vulnerabilities. Communication protocols used by control systems and SCADA systems vary, but the most common ones are DNP, Modbus, IEC 60870-5103, IEC 61850, Telnet, QUIC4, Quinn, and Cooper 2179. Compromising any of these protocols would allow a malicious party to control these systems outside of utility operations. This effect on generation resources, transmission facilities, and the energy marketplace goes beyond a utility system grid to having an effect on other systems through interconnections such as flow gates and source, sinks that make up market agreements and transactions. Consequently, the cybersecurity measures one utility takes can affect other utilities through the various interconnections that exist. If one utility has a less robust cybersecurity response plan than that of other interconnected utilities, then the outcome will quickly scale to adversely impact large sections of the grid. Thanks for watching. Follow on Twitter at McKenneybrief.